Calcutta, one of the world's largest cities where millions languish at the bottom of society's heap. Mother Teresa, Mother Teresa did a lot for Calcutta. People of Calcutta can never forget Mother Teresa. What she did for the people of Calcutta, especially those lying at the grassroots or the bottom rung of society, I don't think anyone else has ever done anything like that. In 1985, Mother Teresa received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from US President Ronald Reagan. In 1979, she was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, two remarkable honors for a simple Roman Catholic nun from Albania. Agnes Gonja Yayauja was born in Skopje in 1910 and died in Calcutta in 1997, having spent more than 40 years tending to the disadvantaged and destitute. She belonged to the world. You can say she's belonged to the world, each and every people. One, something you can say, the person who is begging for, the, uh, for, for their food and the person who is having the millionaires, she's for all. You're she proud. was for all. So you're proud as a candidate? Yeah, I'm, I'm proud, dearly proud. Agnes received her calling early, deciding at the age of 12 that her destiny was to be a nun. She took the name Teresa after the patron saint of missionaries, Therese de Lisieux. She took her final vows while teaching in a convent school in Calcutta in 1937, but soon left the school to found the Missionaries of Charity. The order began with just 13 members. At the time of Teresa's death, it had 4,000 nuns and around 100,000 lay volunteers, operating 610 missions in 123 countries. Mother Teresa was such an individual and who took the missionaries of charity's work to a certain level where it's difficult for others to reach that level. So that still continues, particularly her charisma, particularly the, her, the, the kind of love and respect she used to command from the uh, people belonging to any community, uh, creeds, or any sections. And that in any, any successor or any, anyone, uh, automatically they cannot inherit that. You can inherit organization, you can inherit uh, the uh, institutions, uh, and even the motto, but uh, the, you cannot inherit the love and affection and kind of respect. Uh, you, only you can do it through your own work. Teresa's life meant living away from the cloisters among the impoverished and sick. In her words, her aim was to help the naked, the hungry, the homeless, the crippled, the blind, the lepers, all those people who feel unwanted, unloved, uncared for throughout society. But despite her extraordinary achievements, Mother Teresa did not escape criticism during her lifetime, or indeed since her death. Her most vocal critics include the author Christopher Hitchens, who was the only witness called by the Vatican to give evidence against her beatification and canonization process. He claimed that she had admitted to him that her aim was not to alleviate poverty, but simply to swell the number of Catholics. I'm not a social worker, she told Hitchens. I do it for Christ. However, two years after her death, she was ranked the most admired person of the 20th century in a US poll, and in 2003, she was officially beatified by Pope John Paul II, a significant step on the path to sainthood. And the Sisters of the Missionaries of Charity are continuing her mission. It is still the same because it is not Mother's personality that did it, but it, it, it happened because of Mother's trust in God. And it is God's work. And she knew if she did what he wanted her to do, he would provide. And she was not worried even after her death. He, she knew since it is his work, it will continue. So it is continuing.